Welcome back. Doing, um, Helena's Crime Lord stuff. And the next one of those is in Hades Gamma. Let's finish surveying this system. Beryllium. Good, we can make a new beryllium sphere. Like, wrong thing entirely. Um, and that's in the... Uh, we actually do also have a mission in the Antea system. But I'm gonna do... Uh, we did Farinata. Um, I'm gonna do... See, this is why... Percentages would be nice. You could tell that I've already been there. We're gonna do the Crime Lord first, which is this system. Which is how most of the time I would just say this, because my THs still aren't great. Let's see what's here. Uh, titanium. And we can land. Apparently these uh, crime lords all like cold planets. Um, let's see. Let's take... Um, Garrus and... Let's give Ashley something to do. limiting the amount of biotics I have, which is never great, but we'll make do. Um, it's kind of cool looking ice, more bluish than most of the other places we've been so far. We have leveling up to do. Still don't really have a good strategy for uh, Ashley. Other than spread the points around. I wish that that was squad based, the, the uh, adrenaline boost, but it's not. Garrus, um, we're gonna need some electronics. I have seven points. I would need eight to unlock both of those. Let's go with uh, decryption. And then you can have some... Damping, I guess. Let's put a point in... Electronics as well. Let's see if there's uh, more equipment for either of these. Yep, sure, you can have that. Oh, I have some heavy armor. Scorpion 4 heavy armor. That's what we're talking about. Um, I have medium armor. He can't equip it. What do I need to do to make him equipable? Um... can't. Why does medium terrium armor exist? Oh, wait, no, this is me. Never mind. 
That's what I need to do. Wish I had known that before I leveled him up. Um, well, if we level up again, I guess I'll give him some points there. What do you have? Shield Regenerator 3. Switch it to that. Got a sniper rifle. I don't know if we're facing... I don't think we're facing synthetics here, so... That'll do. As much as I like to do that last, not an option. I mean, it is an option, but it doesn't make sense. Alright, this should be easy. I'm guessing you're there. Yep, I was right. Um... Where did that... Where did that went? Where did that go? All the way over there. Because I heard it fall for quite a while. Um... I'd like you to use the sniper. A mine? Have we been in a mine yet? Don't remember. Or there's nothing here, so I can just quick save here. I like that even for all of this small stuff, they still have considerably improved tech to Okay, they're just coming. Oh great, snipers, and we know what that means, instant kills. Um, I want to save my... Lift and throw and singularity in case somebody rushes us, at least until we have a... Oh, this pistol shoots very different than... Uh... See, that's why... <laughs> that's why I wanted to save all of that. This is a very different pistol. I get shot versus of three. All right. You know what? Two can play that game. You're supposed to be the sniper here, guys. Are you the crime boss? Probably. Uh, which means we need to worry about you more than... This guy over here. So I don't really want to waste any powers there. This is not a squad that has a lot of active abilities. No, sniper. Or I think the crime boss is behind there. This would be a good use for a grenade, but uh, you get them so rarely, I just don't want to.
Alright, I think we only have the crime boss to go. Give myself barrier. Just because he might decide to use a power that stops me from using powers. And then I still want to have some good abilities. I mean, some good defense. You are not getting up. All right. Second crime lord defeated. That wasn't even hard. That's a dead end. All right, more stuff. Just weapons. Why well, they are called weapon lockers, so I guess that's to be expected. Bunch of sniper rifles. Remember Naginata being good, but not as good as what he has. How about me? It is better than what I have. Medigel I don't need. A highly explosive fire containment system, which seems counterproductive. That's it for the second crime lord, which means we should now have Helena Blake as an option. The Fortuna system. What I do not know is whether or not this is sufficient charm to convince Helena Blake. To, uh give up her uh, position. We'll find out, I guess. And a trident colony insignia. All right, we need to go to the horse head Nebula. I don't know where that is. That's where Noveri is. Yet strangely, this was not the last side quest I did before Noveri in my... Uh, Um, last playthrough. Wait. Um, also, there's another thing in Hades Gamma that I didn't do yet. Um, well, we'll go back. Wait. This is where Noveria is, so that's definitely not where we need to be. This isn't where we need to be either. Um, Fortuna is where we're going. Saying it again, this is why we need percentages. Uh, Turian Insignia. Blue 
plutonium. And our mission. All right, um, let's bring Caden and Rex. Who needs to be leveled up and, um, Equipped. Well, not as much because I brought them on. Um, Theram. Kaden. Let's give you advanced electronics. He is a sentinel, but he's not capable of wearing medium armor, which I think you can if you're a sentinel. Interesting. And Rex. Let's unlock his heavy armor. And, uh, shotguns, why not? Do we have anything? We have Krogan medium armor, which is, uh, worse than what he's wearing. Well, it has tech biotic protection, but it's not really worth it. Have a good shotgun for him, though. Basically everything except a katana is junk. And, well, I guess he can have my old Solaris M3. These are both junk. They're all good on... Upgrades, I'm fairly sure. Sure, why not? Alright, time to find out if we have enough charm. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. I guess it is. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Which, of course, isn't going to stop us from, um, you know, snooping around, looking for stuff. So, yeah, you do have enough. I don't know how much you need, actually. But this was enough. I guess this is close to the same spot where I did this in the original Let's Play, so that's not too surprising. I am actually think a, a higher level than I was at this point in the original. 
Um, looking for stuff. Not seeing any stuff. There's probably some in the back room. So there's a medical kit. That's probably just medigel, which we don't need. Oh, this room is locked. Or doesn't even have a button. Or it's disabled, anyway. I don't really know. And then Helena becomes a social worker, somehow. I think that's what happens to her. Alright, we're just gonna steal your stuff. You have to pay the shepherd tech tax, even though we we're letting you go. That's not too interesting. Ooh, technician kit. This does not contain any omni tools. I have been gypped. Oh no. Should have brought Tali. Oh well. I'll survive. All right, that takes care of that. Um, the one I mi forgot to do in Hades Gamma, Gamma is... No, it's not that one. It's Missing Survey Team. So let's go do that. This is a uh, one where you face the um, husks, I think. I think they've all been turned into husks, if I remember this right. Which maybe I don't. Um, if we are facing husks, then let's go with Rex and, uh, Um, I would say Liara, but I need some electronics. I'm just gonna ring Tali. Because she ensures I can unlock everything. Even though, um, I probably will bring Tali later to Anomaly, Research Base, Debris, and another Anomaly. Let's go this way around. Why not? Team. I don't remember this mission very well. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Yeah, this is this is husks, isn't it? This feels like it's husks. I wonder if you plug a controller in. If you still get the the controller minigame, the console minigame, even on PC. 
which is more like a Simon Says type thing, or like a quick time event, I guess, is actually what it is. Uh, rather than, can you go up the ramp? Rather than this one, I like this one way more. But I could see how it would be more annoying to do with a controller. Yeah, we're gonna go in the mine and there's gonna be... Um, some husks, I'm fairly sure. Oh, and I actually leveled up, so let's take care of that first. Um... Singularity... Lift... And Adept. Rex, um... Let's do Krogan Battlemaster. And Fitness. And Tali. Gonna have some AI hacking. Or in machinist and shotguns. AI yeah, hacking isn't useful here, but I kind of want to do the moon mission before I go to Novaria or wherever I'm going. And I definitely want it there. Yep, it's husks. And they're literally all running at me. Not as effective as, uh, as I would have hoped, that grenade. Um, Gun overheats pretty quickly. Um. I think they both missed. So, good job, guys. Do not want him to be behind me and alive. <laughs> All right, not too bad so far. Probably shouldn't have said that. Why did that not do anything? The survey team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. They actually un uncovered uh, Reaper stuff. All targets down. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. So even at hardcore, I'm like getting too good at this game. 
I'm not switching to, to insanity. No point in doing that without uh, getting an achievement for it. Medium armor. That is not useful for me. Might be useful for Caden. Or Ashley. I don't remember if she has. Um, her heart, her heavy armor. Yeah, she does. Because she has Scorpion 4. I gave that to her. I remember now. Alright. Didn't remember that that was going to happen. effective. Alright. Are a couple left. There's one closer or is he dead? I'm not sure. Need to keep stop overheating this gun. Oh, they're kind of close. That's not what I want. That's why I have this though. Yeah, you're close enough yet. That counts for all of the extra Jenny survey team. Alright. See if there's anything in there. Yep, those are the dragon's teeth or whatever they're called. Raiko 5. Naganati. Naganata 5. That's perhaps good. It is. As is this. Not really getting a lot of weapon mods, am I? We won't even talk about this problem. Um. See what's down here. A slarch canister, which of course contains weapons. Why wouldn't it? Alright, it take care of, takes care of all of that. I kind of want to go do Rogue VI. If that's not a terrible idea. We'll find out, I guess. Uranium. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, 
All right, so we're going to the local cluster. I don't believe there's anything to survey here. Pretty sure everything that is there is to be surveyed has been surveyed. So let's head down to the moon. Let's see who we want to take, though. We definitely want to take Tolly. And... I guess Caden. Because... More tech will be good, but I also kind of want more biotics. I don't remember if biotics really work against these drones. This is what we're going with, though. The moon, there's not an awful lot to find. Except for old Soviet probes that somehow contain modern weapons. Part isn't hard. There's like so a random collection of other uh, uh, turrets on the moon somewhere, aren't there? Will we go find those and kill those for some bonus XP? I thought you could see them from here. Do not recall where they are. Well, I might go find and kill those um, after I deal with this here. I level up before? Um, not everybody's leveled up yet. Caden. Um, doesn't really matter right now, but I still kind of want your decryption to be good enough that you're useful without bringing Tolly. Tolly is good, and I'm good. Alright. I don't think it matters what order you do these in. Like, the first one will always be the easiest. Alright, I, I just hope this isn't a terrible mistake doing this this early. Um, we'll find out, I guess. I'm used to having tech powers myself, as well. Which makes things easier. Um... Not going well. Because right now we're going to get assault drones. Later on we're going to get... Um, uh, rocket drones and stuff as well. All right, let's do AI hacking. Can't see anybody else. Did we actually hack anything? 
Huh. Doesn't seem to have accomplished much. Does this work? No, it really does not. So maybe I should have... Um Maybe I should have brought Garrus for more tech. Instead of, uh, Caden. You're the last one, right? Because none of this is going to do anything. I don't know if it damages them at all. I think it does, honestly. I might go back to the ship after this one and change my squad. Toxic gas. It seems to that it doesn't even keep up with my... Um, ...healing ability, so... Not worth worrying about. As the first cluster. And yeah, I want to... I want to change my squad. It means we're gonna have to drive back here. Alright, um, I don't really have any way of remembering which one I did. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Garrus has some points. I want to unlock his medium armor. Which he can then wear. Are you good with your weapon? So, might be good to give him a good assault rifle, too, for this particular mission. Let's equip get for... It's kind of useless, honestly. No, we'll keep him on the recoil damper. Let's equip for... Um, synthetics. Actually, uh, 
Uh, no. Go with incendiary. We have anything better. Uh, she can have my cryo rounds, I guess. I want to know why AI hacking didn't really seem to accomplish anything. Are they too powerful for the level I'm at? one you get like stationary rockets or something. I don't know if shooting the power junctions accomplish any anything other than you know maybe causing damage to anything that's nearby. Why are they all hiding? Alright, now we have more, because at least... I don't know if damping actually does anything, but... In which case, we don't really have more. <laughs> um... But hey, it's something. I'm just used to it. Why can't I shoot? Um, Garrus, you're not doing well. That might be too late for him, actually. No, he is somehow still alive. Maddie Jill. Which doesn't seem to have done much for some reason. Alright. Not too bad, I guess. Why is there only assault drones in here again? Maybe they nerfed this mission too, because it was so hard. Or maybe it skills with your level, which means because I'm doing this earlier, it's slightly easier. Kinetic fields, which is just pointless slowing down. Garrus's health just did not want to increase, did it? Uh, I guess I didn't actually use Metagel before. Stupid barriers. Two. 
So far, so good. And like I said, I have no idea which one I did, so we're picking one. Wait, there's barriers here? I don't remember that happening. Wait, I think this might be the one I've done before. Yeah, it is. Because there's no one here. Wait. I guess it was a good thing I went back. Omni tools. And it's not even really any good. I guess Garrus can have it. Sometimes you just can't interact with anything after getting out of the Mako. A quick save and quick load fixes that though. And this too has annoying shields. Getting like light armor, but oh, this is actually better than Scorpion. That is rare. It's actually good because I need to give some to Liara. to save. Which is annoying. No, I want to do the hack on the rocket drone. There we go. And overload. Great, of course the two of them are just gonna stand right where everybody's shooting. That felt a little too inevitable. <laughs> and immediately dead again. Oh, this is why I hate this mission. 
and I have nothing I can do except protect myself. That went about as well as expected. Great, now I'm probably not going to get the same thing here. Nope. Now it's all useless. I need the two of them to not be like No can do. Why not? I need them to not be, like, right in the firing line. AI hacking is not being as effective as I... want it to be. Remember my grenades! Don't know if that does anything, but we'll figure it out, I guess. See, if I can just keep my squad alive, it's a lot better. Right, and we actually leveled up. Um... Let's just do some pistols. And... Oh, let's do throw. You know what I really should be doing is spectre training. Actually, there. Garrus, um, doesn't sound too useful. And Tolly. Maybe I just need to do that so it will actually work. I think there's more enemies to face here. Maybe on the way out? I'm not sure. Or like, yeah, I think when you shoot the first ones, there's enemies protecting the second... 
I'm just looking around for stuff. I don't think there is any. Nothing here. Yeah, but they're all over there. I don't think they go... F oh, no, they do. All right, now it will hopefully work. No, he still wasn't really fighting on our side, was he? It's so hilarious when it does work. Because they just go berserk. I'm wondering if this is a glitch or if these guys just require a lot of uh, points in AI hacking before they work. Well, shields are very effective, aren't they? They're not even really in the way. Oh, that's crouch. Alright, bursts of white noise. Uh, doesn't this like say help or something? <laughs> it's definitely ASCII. I don't remember exactly what it says. Um, specialization class will replace your base class in talents rank on squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen and view the bases of your game with each rank in your specialization class. We have to pick one though. Nemesis is a biotic specialist who uses mass effect fields to inflict heavy damage against opponents. Increased duration and damage for all biotic abilities. Improves warps, improves lift. Biotic for defense and opponent immobilization. Reduces recharge time, which is nice, but barrier and stasis is not useful, so I'm going to go with that. And, uh, Didn't get any points for it. But now we can put more points in there later. All right. Nice. And sorry, Edie. Because, of course, we find out later that this VI was used as the basis for Edie. But we had no choice. Well, I mean, I guess we could have pro possibly not done the mission, but, you know, that's not an option. Yeah, I'm gonna look for the extra turrets. See if I can find those. And I guess that's it. Um... Do I want to go to the Citadel, or do I just head for Novaria? Kind of just want to go to Novaria. I am going to do a round of the ship first. And deal with... Uh, my inventory as well. D 
you have some time to talk now, Commander? Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. It's a personal observation, Caden. I, uh, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's toes, especially if you're a, uh, if I have misread your interests. <laughs> you mean Liara? It's kind of mean. Someone? You're referring to our young Prothean expert. <laughs> I think she's older than both of us put together, but, uh, yeah. There's a lower deck rumor that she's, uh, interested in you as more than a source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady, not to my, uh, tastes, but, uh, I never claim to be big on alien culture. You seem awfully worried about my personal affairs. It's just that we don't have much downtime these days. I like being around you, but I I don't want to take up your personal time. Um It's so vague here what Cuz both of these feel like they're going towards romance. I'm tired of this, Lieutenant. I don't care if you have a problem with me chatting up Liara. It's none of your business. Y yes, Commander. Just had some static on my comm. Got some signals wrong. It won't happen again. Sorry for just shutting you down the hard way. Hopefully we can still talk to him later. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time, and Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. 150? I guess we've had some improvements in medical technology. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survived shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Alenko. The Lieutenant and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? This is literally the second time we've talked, but sure. No, you are right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? 
We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Oh, that romance happens a lot faster than I thought it did. Didn't really remember that well. Why is this still so slow? Yeah, I'm just gonna romance Liara and I probably will stay faithful to her in uh, the next two games, although not that you would know. Because, um... I... Um... I'm not gonna record those. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Oh, this is his uh, personal one. I don't know if you can actually, if you get it from this conversation or if you need to have another conversation after this. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs, had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out, there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. 
Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. Uh, do you have space for that? Just grow extra organs? <laughs> How would that work? I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs, but they wouldn't listen. It's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. That seems like a bit of a callous attitude. If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. Yeah, maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Um, this is when you get the... his... Personal mission, prototype loyalty mission. Although I think for Garrus it doesn't really matter that much if you do it or not. For Rex it's very important. If you want to save him on Vermeer, it makes that a lot easier. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. Let's pretend this never happened. So, I think this is about Shepard, if you're male Shepard. But I guess they changed it to Caden if you're female. I have played Femme Shep before, but I don't remember exactly. Are you interested in the Lieutenant Chief? Fraternization is against regulations, ma'am. Don't ask, don't tell. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Well, Caden is available. If you want him. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized. But he never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be. Able to raise kids while dad's away on a six-month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Where did you grow up? All over. Same as you expect. We transferred a half a dozen times before I finished grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why I'm so tight with my sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. I was an only child, but I get the idea. At least one of my parents was always on duty. Yeah. Military families, eh? With schedules like that, it's a wonder we ever have kids anymore. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. 
I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen hell why away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. Yeah, you know, I think there's a, a middle ground between not showing interest and, you know, put being pushy. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Abby decided to learn the sword. She always was a little weird. Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. So, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand-to-hand. -hand. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. Like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This, let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. Sounds like Aikido, all right? That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Sounds like a love story for the ages. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. I thought you said he was dead. You know, from heaven, wherever that is. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Um, no, it's not, as long as you don't uh, try to enforce it on others. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so in the Alliance Charter, only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. 
Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. I would have a lot to say about that. Um, but, uh, I won't. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. Not exactly a sustainable policy. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Wasn't Jared his father? Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. I knew it. Jared was your father? He was, until that day. We talked, but we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life. But not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. Never say never. Um, this is new, I think. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You trying to make me cry, Shepard? I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. To 
Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. So long, Rex. Shepard. Like I said, this is an important mission to do. Because of the uh, effect it has on uh, Vermeer. You can still, I think, talk him down, even if you haven't done that, but... Um, actually, actually, I don't remember. I'm not sure. Maybe you need to do this. Or you need to have a sufficiently high charm score, I think. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Either way, doing this mission makes it easier. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. She seems happier. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. <laughs> she's not royalty, she's daughter of an admiral. It's not how that works. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Never say never. <laughs> Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything an Aquarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the Exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. That's not how it works in this game. You can't do side quests after finishing the final mission. Um, oh, we got an extra option about her father. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict. A military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. 
Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Again, that doesn't really make sense if they wear their suits on the migrant fleet, but... I really think that was just changed later, probably, because it made it easier to, you know, show a lot of quarians when you went there. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with, and he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant, like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. See you later. I always like this part of uh, Tali's car character arc. She uh, has to deal with a lot of pressure, and that only gets worse after her father dies in the second game. Alright, um, I'm gonna deal with inventory, and um, I guess we'll come back in the next video.